I'm a little bit of a champ. You've actually dribbled on yourself. You know I dribbled on <laughs> <laughs> I always have since I was a kid. What's happening guys? I'm Wes Nelson. Hi you and I'm Georgia Steele and we're here giving advice with Boohoo Man. My boy paid for his girl's holiday thinking it was a girl trip. He just found out that he's actually paid for her to go on a vacation with, with her next man. She's still there and doesn't know that he knows. How should he handle it? <gasps> right, this. What a horrible girl. So what I would do is I think things like this is always better face to face because it's more powerful. So I feel like if I was him, I would wait at the airport for her to come back when she walked through them doors when you come at the arrivals. The I'd look at her and go, I know exactly what you've done and you're never going to see this face again. And wait, she will sob a little art out. So there you go. After watching Fifty Shades of Grey, my partner and I have decided to turn our spare bedroom into a fantasy room. My mum and dad are flying over to visit and are insisting they stay with us. I've tried to say we're decorating and that we have no room to try and get out of it. But they're adamant about staying with us. How do I get out of this? Everyone has the, the chat. You know what I mean? When, when they're younger. So just flip it over to your parents, like, listen, this is the chat for you. You would actually listen. say, I've got a sex room to your parents. I'd do it like this. Sit down. Sit down. No, you wouldn't. Sit down. I've got a sex room upstairs. Okay? Velvet, whips. Oh, Rose, you couldn't say that to your mum and dad. Horrible. Yeah. It ain't horrible, um, but you couldn't say that to your mum and dad. Listen, you're 50 odd. You understand how sex can, can need a bit of spicing up here and there. So maybe. You used the room. Oh no, that's disgusting. Oh. I don't want to imagine my parents using my red room. You have a red room? No, I don't have a red room! <laughs> I met this girl on Tinder a while ago and we've been speaking non-stop ever since. We became very full on very quickly but never got the chance to meet up because of the distance and work. We both admitted that we really liked each other and so we're excited to finally meet. When I eventually got to, um, got to see her in person, she looked nothing like her pictures <gasps> and was an absolute cat <laughs> What should I say to her? So you don't look anything like your pictures. Like, I wasn't expecting like... He said that in present tense, so is he literally writing this question while he's with her? What should I say to her? <laughs> I would just say, I'm honest me though, I don't have a filter. I'd be like, look, you're lovely, but you look really different to your pictures. You're not considerably my type. Do you think I'm a catfish? No. No. No! Why are you? Yeah, you know, you know, you're burning a hole in the side of my face. You're not a catfish, Georgia. I bought a house with my girlfriend three years ago after being there for six months. Um, my best friend moved in with us. It was only supposed to be for a couple of weeks. Nearly three years later, he's still living with us. My girl said she's sick of it. And um, if he doesn't move out, then she's going to leave and that we'll be done. I love her and I don't want to lose her. But the issue is my friend has nowhere to go. What? Like, who do I choose? So be homeless. Like, make your friend homeless. I would say, right, babe, I want to get a new flat, right? And I'd go and look for a new flat that's only got one room. What would you do? That's what, no, that's See, that's boys are different, thing. though. That's boys would want to, he would want to look at, like, boys would yeah, want to look, after, look their after their friends. But I do get but maybe that rotate. Girl's... I do get that girl. How can you rotate in a house? Oh, we're like, out. Staying at Jono's, staying at Gavo's, staying at Steve's. Steve's got a hot tub. I recently found out my partner had cheated on me a few years ago. Um, I know that it was in the past and it was a one-time thing, but I've always thought um, our relationship was rock solid. Am I right to feel insecure and um, to, let it to, change, to let it change how I feel about my future with him, or does it not matter because it was so long ago and we're happy now? If someone's cheated on you like that and you find out about one, chances are there's sh loads of other times that they've cheated as well that you just don't know about. Everyone cheats for a reason and it's because they're not happy in the relationship, I'll be honest with you. So I feel like... Sometimes you're just drunk on Love Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that too. My partner's job requires us to move around a lot and I and live abroad. He lets me move my sister... He lets me move my sister with us wherever we go so that I'm never lonely so that I can always feel at home. My sister and my boyfriend are so close and I've always loved it. However, I started to hear rumours that something was going on between them. Together, we all laughed it off and said how ridiculous it was. However, I have recently discovered that the rumours are true and that they've been sleeping with each other for years. Blood makes you related, loyalty makes you family. I've been seeing two people... <laughs> You're moving nuts. <laughs> I've, been see... I've been seeing two people at the same time for quite some time. Um, I'm ready to settle down, but I couldn't decide who is better for me. Both girls have now, um, have now found out. Do I lie and try and keep one of them, or do I tell them both the truth? Um, and hope one of the girls stays loyal and takes me back. Maybe they could just be sister wives. 
Do you know how bold and brave you've got to be to say this, even to write this question? That is crazy. That's awful. If you've ever done that, is like the top fucking fuckboy. Yeah. That's bad. To be honest, me being, maybe not now, but Put what I would have done. yourself in George's mindset two years ago. Okay, what I would have done, I would have picked my favourite, and then I would have lied to the other and been like, oh, he just keeps texting me, I can't help it. <laughs> And then I'd go for my favourite one. And You've I'd literally like, just told us what he said. Oh, that's what Something I'm... tells me he's still got that mindset. I you know am what? not going to... Don't you dare. I am not got that mindset. Georgia hasn't changed. Wes hasn't changed, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> that was a not good comeback, that one. That was a good one. That was a good Thanks. comeback. But yeah, we hope your advice helped you. Um, but yeah, some people are moving crazy. Bonkers. Bananas. Just stop. <laughs>